Welcome back, folks. I'm starting off this design with a YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. We'll see that right up here. And I'm going to go over to my elements into my recently used, and I'm going to place this photo on my workspace. I'm now going to head on over to my apps and I'm going to search for an app called Replicator. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to click it. And like any other app, it tells you what it can do. It tells you what it has access to. It lists the permissions that it's going to have in terms of changing your images and access to Canva. Once you've read this and once you're OK with it, just click on the purple button to open. And um, you can click a graphic, a photo, an element, anything on your workspace. And then you can click on the purple button to replicate it. Once you do that, you're going to get a whole bunch of different options. I'm actually going to choose grid and I'm going to uh, modify the number of columns. I'm going to change the number of columns to three. And I'm going to change the number of rows to three as well. Now you're going to notice that there, there is some space in between my images. Um, so it all depends on whether you want that space there or not. Uh, over here, we can see that um, there is the option to reduce the space. So I'm just going to set it to zero for horizontal. And for vertical, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll set it to zero. Now, before we continue, I just want to ask that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe and turn the notification bells on. That way, every time I release a new tutorial, you're first to know and you're first to watch it. And if you want to learn more about my live sessions, just ask me down in the comments. OK, let's get back to the meats and potatoes of this tutorial. And let me know, do you like it? Don't you like it? All right, let's move on. Um, there is more options here. We can slide, rotate, horizontal scoop, but I'm going to keep it all the same and I'm going to add this to my design. Now I'm going to get rid of this image in the back and these are kind of a grouped uh, series of frames. Um, that's what it is. So I'm actually going to resize this to fit my whole page. And I'll leave it like that. And I'm going to grab my first image, which is this one right here. I'm going to double click and I'm going to resize that. I'm going to crop it, make it bigger. Uh, now when I'm doing this, I'm just going to take note of where it's sitting. So I can see here that it is, it is as wide as my thumbnail, and then it just goes a little bit higher up top here and a little higher um, there. But I'm going to bring this down because I want to see her hairline, and there'll be just a little bit of excess down below. I'll click outside. I'm going to grab the next one. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. And I'll bring that down and I'll move on to the next one. Now, you just want to make sure that they are exactly overlapping. I'm going to continue and do the same for the next one. And again, I'll bring that up top here. And I'll keep going until I've done all of the squares. All right. I'm going to close this left panel. I don't need that anymore. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of these and I'm just going to uh, ungroup them all because I don't need it to be grouped. I want to work with them individually. I'm going to take this one in the middle here and I'm going to go to edit. 
And in the apps section, I'm going to search for an app called Screen. I'm going to use this semitone option right here. And I'm going to adjust the half tone scale and the half tone amount. And you can play around with those just to see, you know, what your sweet spot is, but uh, I'm going to leave it right there. And once you're done, you can click on the save button. I'm going to do the same thing for this square down here. I'm going to go back into semitone. I'm going to bring that all the way up. And I'll leave it right there and I'm going to save it. I'm going to take this quadrant up here. I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to come down to filters, click see all. I'm going to come all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to use this outrun effect for that. I'll also take this middle piece on the right side and I'll do the same. Now we have the option to toggle the intensity of that so you can choose whether you want it to be um, very intense or slightly intense. And I'll do the same thing for this bottom quadrant right there. And for this piece, I'm going to come up, I'm going to change it to a classic monotone. And I'll do the same thing for this, leave it at classic. And I'm going to do the same thing for this quadrant up here. I'm going to click it. I'm going to choose classic. And that's about it. So what do you think of this design, folks? Did you like it? Didn't you like it? If you did, like it. And if you did learn something in this tutorial, press that thumbs up button. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down too. I It doesn't matter to me. I accept all types of engagement. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.